Hi everyone, I'm Snehal and I'm part of the group Positive Zero. My team members are Shriya Guri and Rahil Lastu. And for the course of this project, we have developed an EMR management system. So this electronic uh, health data management system we have developed using Hyperledger uh, Fabric. So we'll go into the details in the upcoming slides. Uh, so the motivation behind uh, this project was uh, there is uh, there are a lot of issues in uh, the healthcare domain about the interoperability and security of patients medical history so uh, uh, here that's why the integration of the blockchain is the main goal uh, in this uh, project so with the decentralized app applications of the blockchain the particular user will have and control over what type of data um, uh, even a doctor or hospital network can access so that's why we have decided to go with the permissioned uh, blockchain framework that is hyperledger fabric so this can uh, assure that uh, all patients data are safely stored in, uh, in the network and the entities to which he or she has granted access those entities can only um, view those records so uh, this is the basic motivation behind our application uh, this application also guarantees that any access to patients medical history records uh, express and consent so by using this method uh, doctors can also do various operations on the on individual patient records uh, which is one of the future use case uh, of our project uh, moreover the in the application designed so now uh, we have uh, currently used uh, two organizations in our test networks so this organization would resemble with the hospital network in real world scenarios uh, the permission blockchain platform with the hyperledger fabric provides a uh, a precise privacy and access control uh, to the patient uh, specifically so we have our uh, ui uh, which is uh, ui and a backend which is in express.js and it connects with the uh, hyperledger fabric framework uh, wherein we have chain code for this transactions written in uh, vanilla javascript so the there are three main entities in our application design the admin who can add a, a user entity a user entity can be a doctor or a patient so admin is one of our entity second is the patient uh, uh, and third one is the doctor so these admin patient and doctor users can interact in a transparent and secure manner due to this uh, given architecture each hospital has a peers, orderers, and certificate authorities, uh, which represents uh, which, uh, these are represented in the fabric network uh, in a higher level structure. So there are uh, the uh, in the uh, functionalities slide we can see there are different steps by which we can create, edit, and access different uh, EMRs uh, while preserving the uh, access control and privacy features uh, uh, defined by the given user. So for the um, database, we have decided to use CouchDB to store the world state uh, in this ledgers. Uh, also, uh, whenever the healthcare provider like a doctor uh, or even a patient or user uh, is added into the network, uh, they need to uh, we they need to be verified they need to their their credibility has to be verified verified before they join the blockchain network so hosp hospital specific certificate authorities are bind with their public uh, bind their public keys of the participants uh, to the certificates uh, proving their identities and granting the particular access and in the end adding them to the peer nodes so uh, this is the this is a kind of overview of our applications and there is a back uh, there are various restful services which are exposed in our backend which we have uh, developed using uh, express.js so 
uh, functionality wise uh, as i explained earlier there are three main uh, entities um, in our application uh, first for the user uh, the user can fetch all the emr records uh, that are uh, created uh, in his profile uh, also he or she can retrieve the list of uh, users uh, list of users who have who he or she has granted access to add the record so there are two different type of access level uh, a user can grant a user can grant an access to a doctor so that he or she can add the records to user's profile and secondly user can grant only the view access not the add access but the view access to specific doctor so uh, to retrieve the uh, the uh, there is uh, the, this is the patient's functionality to retrieve the list uh, of users to which uh, he or she has granted the access secondly um, and uh, the final one there is an uh, functionality wherein it can grant and also the revoke access from particular do uh, particular uh, user in this uh, scenario which is our doctor so that if the if that patient case is switched to uh, another department or another peer hospital so uh, he can he or she can revoke uh, the access likewise for the doctors uh, there are two main important features uh, the first one being they can add the emr record uh, AMR records. Um, uh, if they have, if the user has given them the add access, and secondly, uh, if they have the view access for the given AMR ID, they can retrieve the same. And the main functionality uh, for uh, admin is just to add the. Uh, doctor and patient uh, entities into the network uh, in this uh, simpler version uh, moving on uh, for the installation we have added the um, urls to our github so firstly we can clone the uh, corner uh, application from this git repo uh, then uh, as uh, given in uh, uh, same similar to the instructions given in the lab two, we uh, we are using fabric samples uh, repo as a reference, uh, and in the test networks, uh, we have uh, given a deployment script. So after the network is up um, and the peer nodes are running, uh, we will run the deployment script. Once this deployment script is um, executed it means that all the chain codes have been approved by the organization and so they have also uh, committed uh, the package is also committed into the chain uh, into the uh, peer nodes so once all this um, invoke uh, uh, queries are executed we go forward to uh, start our backend applications so we go back to backend combined uh, directory and we just start start this ex express application so once the once uh, you know once one execute the node app.js uh, file uh, there are multiple uh, restful services were exposed uh, for doctor patient and admin um, and, and from there we can access the given features so in the next slide we have the demo uh, which will be added over here thank you hi everyone uh, we are team positive zero and uh, for the final project we have implemented a system which is a blockchain based electronic medical records management platform so uh, we have decided to use a permission based blockchain framework that is happily as a fabric so that each patient would have an um, control over uh, what other entities can view its uh, history so they will be able to grant and revoke access to different uh, medical history of theirs so in this application uh, different different mapping uh, are uh, added so we have uh, three main entities in our application um, admin a patient and a doctor so these are three different type of user entities we have uh, different fabric components are mapped in this ehr system in the same uh, fashion so the peer organizations in the fabric network are the hospitals in the real world uh, scenarios so firstly i'll demonstrate how can we create uh, a patient and a doctor uh, entity in this network so admin has an authority to create two of these entities so this is the first um, 
uh, portal uh, we have uh, on back end we are running an express app so all the services uh, the doctor uh, patient and admin services are exposed on given ports and um, uh, initially we can add uh, patients and doctors to different hospitals uh, from admin credentials so currently i am adding a patient let's say p01 and i selected the type as user so this will validate the transaction and this uh, patient will be uh, successfully added into our two peer nodes so in the similar fashion i'll add a, i'll add a, a doctor entity as well so doctor t01 So we have added this uh, doctor entity also into our network. So moving on to the uh, next uh, portal in our application is the patient app, uh, patient platform. So here are we have several uh, functions uh, which are offered here. So and a patient can uh, choose which other users can add a medical record to its profile who all can view a particular uh, medical history uh, or medical rec record so uh, he can he or she can grant and revoke the access for the same uh, moving on we he can also uh, view what all uh, how a list of medical record in his history uh, and things like that so initially we'll go step by step so initially uh, uh, i will uh, grant access to doctor d0 so that uh, that doctor can add uh, a few uh, emr records to this patient's profile so i'll add the credentials of these two entities so these are the doctor and user profiles which we just created so in this uh, block we the user is granting an access to this uh, doctor so once this transaction is through if we go uh, forward so in the doctor's application um, we can add uh, various medical records uh, for the patient p0 as it has granted the access to this doctor so let's say we'll add one dummy record over here for patient p0 doctor id 01 let's just give a dummy emr id number and So uh, now that this user uh, has granted uh, the add access to this particular doctor, this transaction will go through and uh, it will be added into our ledger. So yeah, this EMR uh, record is created. Uh, the one thing to men, uh, note, uh, note down over here is that even though this doctor has an uh, permission to add the record he might not be able to view the record so uh, to grant uh, the view access to any other entity uh, there is this block in our application so uh, it's up to user to which uh, doctors he wants to share his medical history with so let's say in doctor's application if i go here and uh, say the emr record one which we added and the doctor's email id we will get an error because uh, this doctor doesn't have permission to view the records to the, do the same we'll go back to patient's application for the same patient uh, we will add this doctor as one of the viewer of this record so uh, here we are granting access yeah now again if we go back to doctor's application and do the same procedure again we should be able to see whatever emr contents is there um, in this application yeah so the first emr record which we added uh, we are able to view that uh, from doctor uh, one's entity uh, moreover uh, let's say we add an another uh, doctor into the hospital network um, v0 to with the gmail of tc doctor gmail.com and this doctor yeah 
now that this doctor is added into our hospital network uh, if the patient decided to uh, to switch from doctor d01 to doctor d02 he also has an option he or she also has an option to uh, enable the view access to that particular doctor so over here if i uh, add a transaction like this where p0 user is uh, granting and view access to that uh, emr record we created with id1 to doctor d02 so yeah we are even though uh, the doctor uh, D02 didn't create this application, he will be able to uh, view, it, view this uh, same record as the user has uh, transferred the um, access to it. So yeah, we can see that uh, uh, the uh, ledger is fetching the records. Uh, third thing over here is that there are few other functionalities which we have added. So the uh, for patient uh, entity mostly uh, this feature over here uh, an user can view all of its AMR uh, records history uh, even though for this uh, patient we have added only one AMR we'll be able to see that over here so for that we just have to add the um, user key in uh, throughout this application the email ID will be the key for every user so as cu currently we have only one record so that's why we are getting just a, a single response from here uh, if we add a new emr so let's say for patient to one we have for doctor zero one yeah so we have added a second emr record for the same so we'll fetch the records for uh, p01 users now we should be able to get two amr records yeah uh, the second function over here is that uh, the patient will be able to view to which all doctors he has uh, granted access to uh, so that they can add uh, different uh, lab reports or emr records in his profile so uh, if i add the credentials of the patient over here so i should be able to get the list of doctors uh, who are who have given the ad access so in uh, from in the start we just added dr d01 uh, uh, in this patient's profile so that's why we get uh, only one uh, result over here the last function uh, in the patient's portal is that uh, for a given uh, user uh, for uh, for its particular EMR ID or for its particular uh, any medical record, uh, we will be able to see the list of users who have access to uh, uh, this uh, record. So if I add patient P01 and the first EMR record which is which was visible to both the doctors D01 and D02 so that type of list will get over here and obviously the patient will have access to his or her own record so the patient record will be the first record in this list so these are few features from the patient application uh, and we have gone through the doctor's application so main functionality in doctor's application is uh, uh, one can add different records over here and view the records if they are granted the access to do so so uh, this is our whole um, application thank you